Ole Miss is having a great season. Being the number 11 team in the country, being 10 and 2, heading to a Peach Bowl, playing against Penn State, in which if they win, they'll have their first ever 11 win season in the Lane Kiffin era, and potentially will be a top 10 team in the nation to close off the 23 campaign. However, today's video topic is not about the Rebels 23 campaign. Instead, it's about Ole Miss in the transfer portal. As the transfer portal that recently opened up for all players to enter just a couple weeks ago, and there is not a team in the nation right now that is recruiting better in the portal than Ole Miss. Ole Miss, according to the 24-7 Sports Transfer Portal Team Rankings, they sit in at number one with a total of nine commits, four of which being four-star rated players and five of which being three stars. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Ole Miss football and the transfer portal class that they have right now and what it could potentially mean for them for the 2024 college football season. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. Ole Miss has been a very big player in the transfer portal over these last few college football off seasons. One of the first transfer players they got in the portal this year was Arkansas linebacker Chris Poo Paul Jr. These past couple seasons in the SEC for Arkansas as a two-year starter, he's absolutely been a star for the Razorbacks. And in this most recent season, he was one of the best linebackers in all the SEC, racking up 74 total tackles, 6.5 tackles for loss, 2 sacks, and 1 pass deflection. And over these past few seasons, 2 as a starter and 1 in a redshirt year in 2021, he's racked up 137 total tackles, 15 tackles for loss, six sacks, one fumble recovery, and one forced fumble. After getting the number one portal linebacker, they followed that by getting the number one portal defensive end in Princely Uman Malayan. Princely has been a star these past couple years at Florida, and his film, his numbers, and everything he's done on the field really speaks for itself, and he is rightfully so the number one ranked DN in the portal right now, as these past couple seasons at Florida He's been truly special, especially in 2023, in which he had his best year by far, by having 39 total tackles, 11 and a half tackles for loss, and seven sacks. Over the span of his four-year career at Florida, Princely has racked up 98 total tackles, 24 and a half tackles for loss, 14 and a half sacks, and three forced fumbles. Ole Miss wouldn't just grab one top-rated transfer portal defensive end as they would grab another from Tennessee, this time being Tyler Barron. Tyler Barron, in his past four years at Tennessee, has been a productive player. In his career, with 101 total career tackles, 27 tackles were lost, 13 and a half career sacks, three pass deflections, one fumble recovery, one touchdown, and one forced fumble, and he's coming off his best season yet of his college career in 2023, in which he had a total of 28 tackles, 10 and a half tackles for loss, six sacks, and one fumble recovery. It's not just the defensive side of the ball that they're pulling in these top-rated players in the portal that have great experience not only on the field of college football but also in the SEC, but they followed that all with their latest addition from the transfer portal being wide receiver from South Carolina, Juice Wells. Juice Wells started his career at James Madison, where he impressed many people, then eventually transferred to South Carolina, where he became a top receiver in the SEC in 2022 for the Gamecocks, with 68 receptions for 928 yards, averaging nearly 14 yards a reception, and six touchdowns through the air. Now, unfortunately, Wells was inactive for the most part in 2023, only appearing in three games and having 37 total receiving yards on three receptions for one touchdown. However, with this offense of Ole Miss, I feel like you can definitely expect him to have a big role. Other players that they've acquired through the transfer portal up to this point, as of the recording of this video, include the number two ranked interior offensive lineman, Jerquan Scott, who was a three-year starter from Southern Miss. The number 11 ranked safety, Key Lawrence, who was a big part of OU's defense these past few seasons from 2021 to 2023. The number 14 ranked cornerback, Tavion Nicholson from Illinois. Tavion Nicholson in his career at Illinois racked up 66 total tackles, three tackles for loss, and one interception along with three forced fumbles. 
The number 16th ranked safety to Marion McDonald from Tennessee, who had a productive career as a volunteer, especially these past couple seasons, with 115 total career tackles, eight and a half tackles for loss, one sack, along with four total interceptions. And the number 19 safety, Louise Moore from Indiana, who was a productive player in his time as a Hoosier, especially this past 23 season with 82 total tackles, one tackle for loss, three interceptions, and three forced fumbles. And of course, Ole Miss isn't going to be done with the portal quite yet, as it still is early on in the process. And in fact, they're projected to land the number one rated player in the transfer portal right now in defensive lineman from Texas A&M, Walter Nolan, who could very well be committing very soon, especially after his visit to Ole Miss. Walter Nolan, this past season in 2023 for Texas A&M, had 37 total tackles, 8.5 tackles for loss, and 4 sacks. In his career as an Aggie, being an immediate impact player right away as a highly coveted freshman from the 2022 recruiting class, he has 66 career tackles, 11 tackles for loss, 5 sacks, 1 from a recovery, and 1 forced fumble. Of course, it's not a guarantee that they're going to land Walter Nolan, but all the signs and trends do point in him ending up at Ole Miss. Of course... It's not over till it's over. It's just right now he is heavily projected to be an Ole Miss Rebel for the rest of his college football career, and especially in the 2024 season. But going back to the point of the transfer portal in Ole Miss, if they get him, this team is going to be, this portal class in general, is going to be even better than it already is right now. They have some of the top players in the portal, even at the edge position with the number two player and the number one player and potentially adding the number one player not only in the class but also on the defensive line itself is going to help your team out. This may be one of the more impressive transfer portal halls that we may have seen in quite some time. And of course there had been some very impressive ones but this is, this is a transfer portal hall that can truly change how Ole Miss' season looks in 2024 as it looks like they have a chance to return a gr good amount of their production from this current 23 season to 2024, especially at quarterback, as Jackson Dart is going to be a fourth-year starting quarterback at that point, his third year at Ole Miss. And bringing in all these players can be immediate impacts in the portal, and they could add even more later on, as the portal is still a pretty early-on process, and it's not going to be truly done even all the way down to the summer before the season truly starts. You're going to see this team, in my opinion, push for an SEC title and be a college football playoff team if the trends keep on going in this direction of players coming back and getting these stars in the transfer portal. As a lot of these guys they have committed have played in the SEC. They have a lot of experience in the SEC. They have great experience on the college level, period. I mean, even look at a player like Key Lawrence. Yes, he has more production in the Big 12, but even he has played in the SEC before with Tennessee. And he played well at Oklahoma at that, too. And everyone they're adding overall is top-rated players in their positions. And it's really hard not to look at this transfer portal class and who they may potentially get in the near future, along with their recruiting class, the players they're bringing up through development, and the players they're bringing back for next season, to not say that this team is not going to be an SEC title contender. And looking at their 2024 schedule, yes, of course, they're going to have some tough games. It's the SEC. That can be said for every team in the SEC. Are they going to be undefeated? Maybe not. Are they going to be the number one ranked team when it's all said and done? Maybe, maybe not. But if this team doesn't make the college football playoff, it's going to be very disappointing. But as of right now, I feel very confident in saying that they're more than likely going to make the playoff now that it's going to be a 12-team system. To close off this video, I want y'all to drop something down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Ole Miss's Porter class thus far? And before you head out, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on those post notifications. B. Kelly out. Ah!